what's going on guys Casey Jones here from Troll All Gaming and today I am gonna be showing you stuff how to build different scales of actual train crossings so I watched a bunch of videos and stuff about this and um yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool anyways. So what you're gonna need for the first one is gonna be some red wool iron. Wherever my fence post went. Um, so you're gonna need a fence, iron frame, iron, and a block of red wool. Two actually. So go out go up three go out like this then you have yourself the lights and now go up another then you have yourself an American crossing you can change this like however you want you could add like a gate I'm doing it on the wrong side of the road just the wrong side of the road wait a minute no I had it right um, just add carpet like this and you could do that if you want I just like it like no gate it's just the lights and bell but that's pretty like a simple one and you can like build a complex one where it's like actually 3d but for this one I would suggest not actually using redstone you use um, project red that's what it was called so just grab some framed wire I would suggest white framed wire oops um kill the item frame kill the item frame um, grab some of that um, you can make your own repeater clock underground for this but basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to Oops, wrong way. Actually, I need framed bundled cable. If you don't have Project Red, well, no offense, but it sucks to be you. Um, what you actually need is to have kill this. Um, have, um, not just that, just have bra framed bundled cable, then that. Um, now you need two inputs. I'm gonna use red and yellow for no apparent reason whatsoever so I'm gonna have yellow here and wait I'm just gonna grab some regular bundled cable put that there yellow goes here and red goes here now I'm gonna put that there and that there and I'm gonna now to make it separate this is always the part I have trouble with you just use a red lamp or something like that actually I would suggest a fixture because it looks the most realistic and have it power a block can you even do that
Yeah, you can power blocks. So, basically, make your thing run up here. And then split off again into your yellow bundled cable and red. Actually, this is not bundled cable, never mind. Um, make, up, make your frame go up one more. Then have your light is supposed to be here and it's supposed to be powering. Don't know why it's not. Just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna red here and red here. See if what happens. There we go. See, now you have your blinky lights using red power. Now I'll just build an up, up another one with your bundled cable because it looks good like that. Place bundled cable on the bottom regular bundled cable on the bottom of this block actually has to be one block higher like this so it's like it's supporting it and now you have your own actual blinky lights redstone thing and this is um this idea was given to me from this video some things look really good in this next part, some things like don't. Hey, what is up guys, I'm LC here and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we have another tutorial for you guys and this is going to be a level crossing tutorial. Now as you can see, Credit Fibers has been kindly... I'll tell you guys in there. Now, it's been a long time since I actually built level crossings, and people have been requesting it for that. But they now put it on furniture, the streets, and that. They want me to actually build it. Now, um, just let you guys know, it is not automatic. It is, well, I can let you um, read that expression, that's what the tutorial is all about. However, though, you have to um, control the air um, um, for the level crossing. But however, though, it is good, but it's still the good. As you can see, the red lights are actually flashing. It can be a little bit laggy, however though, I'm not the host of this world. Um, for, um... So thanks to him, I was able to do this. This actually does not need any pistons. Alternatively, just install the lamps and traffic lights mod. I know what you're thinking. After all this redstoning that you just did, you just figured out that you could actually just install a mod that has railroad crossing gates that go down when they're powered. So, yeah, this is a mod based off this stuff. So, basically, when you power it, it'll raise. I have no idea why it's taking so long but basically when it's not powered it'll do that so I still like my big one better So these are things, block built crossings, but you can do cooler ones for train craft. So what you need is a signal controller kabot box. I cannot talk today. Um, detector anys, um, some metal posts. Make sure you have red, white, and gray. Um, signal tuner, um, actual redstone, such as pistons, and a nice flat area, so, 
let's just get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna plan out where your crossing is gonna be. And make sure that there's one block space between the gates. And the track. So if the if this is the track, there should be a one block space. So dig it. Mine's good just gonna be one track. So basically make it as big as wide as you want, but I just like four pistons here and make sure that if you can make it as many tracks as you want, but for me, the track is going to be right here. So now that we're done with that part, we can build up here. So one, two, three, distance signal, up, one, two, three. Or you can do it Rig64 style on his server and dig out further. So you just dig out further. Like that. And then actually make it too wide. This signal. So now it looks like this. Yeah, if you have this version of Railcraft, I would suggest doing it this way, because it actually looks a lot better like that. So four tall. And four wide, actually, hang on, one, two, three, four. So five wide, four tall, with a distant signal here. They should just be blinking red. So you have the first part done. Next, string your detectors across the top. Make sure that the little black part thingy is facing down. And also, dig out two from the end of the string of detectors. Just so the crossing triggers just before the train comes across. So, let me show you why you have to... Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, let me show you. Let's say I have my detector facing my 3D train craft railroad tracks. And I place a train, any train. And you notice that you can't see if it's on actually or not, but um, you don't know if it's on or not. Let's do it this way. It'll detect the train all right. Say I want this piston to trigger when the train is detected. It's detected. It's not triggering. Sure isn't triggering. But what happens if I place it on this red stub? And this will work in any direction, so... That's why you need to place it like that. Anyways... Once we're done with the, um... Part there... You're going to need your next batch of materials. 
repeaters facing this and then place your um, controller boxes I forgot how to place them darn it uh, let's just leave it like that so dig into the wall place place and then right next to the piston and you see if I grab a redstone torch it'll trigger the piston but um we need to link the controller things so the one that's right next to the piston is going to be for this so um I like to have it off and then blink red. So if I link these, it's going to turn off. And then if I grab myself a redstone torch, it's going to blink red. So then we have to grab ourselves redstone and string them together so they all activate at the same time. It'll sometimes be off like that, but basically string your redstone together like that, and then you're good to go. So if you are yourself a guy from the UK or somewhere where they don't have red and yellow railroad crossings that go ding 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 and they have a gate and they don't look like that um you can build this any way you want really i'm just doing it classical american style railroad crossing once you're done stringing your redstone fill in the area with dirt blocks that you dug out to access that and fill it in with redstone. The detectors, since they are facing down, will trigger this redstone. And you can use like Project Red things or whatever. But basically, this is what your crossing should look like exposed. Once you're done, you can grab your railroad tracks from Traincraft or Railcraft or Minecraft, whatever you want. Doesn't even have to be from a mod, just has to be tracks. And then place your minecart or train or whatever. The pistons should pop up immediately and the lights should start blinking. Like that. Something's missing though. These. So when the pistons pop up, I am placing you on a straight piece of track. Um, it'll look like that. It'll look like they are connected with each other. So now you can fill this in with whatever railcraft block you want. Of course, this is a railcraft crossing. You need railcraft for this crossing. Repeat, railcraft is required for this crossing. I said that a thousand times, but it's so you know that you need railcraft. You need railcraft! And, and that's that. That's that. You need railcraft. 
basically just make your train crossing like add a road to it you can put this in your city in your like server or something but one little perk that I always like to add to my crossing uh, we need it to be daytime um, I like to add a sign over here that says slash space 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 hang on so slash space 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 slash enter slash r r slash actually wait there we go now enter enter so slash space space slash just do this I just like adding the RR I forgot how to do this darn it basically I like doing that for my crossings just adding an X with RR And you're done. You can test it as many times as you want. It'll it'll work. This crossing design was discovered basically by Riggs, Riggs 64. Don't credit me for it. I'm just showing you guys how to build it. And also this one. This one is awesome. And also that one. This one over here I actually used in one of my worlds before it was corrupted. This one is new that I've tried before and it fa and I and failed. This one I've used for Traincraft. And yes, I would suggest using Traincraft for it because um you have trains like this one. And it's especially cool if you have the this resource pack installed that makes train craft trains look like unstoppable trains it looks especially cool so you could have the 1206 go through the crossing it's just like it's super awesome hmm they actually added the that's what that's supposed to be I still don't understand what that's supposed to be, but, yeah, I was hoping for just a tad bit more detail, and maybe Riggs can make the hopper cars say trains grain on them, and the tanker cars say procker on them, and maybe change the horns to be something not like this. Maybe not like that, but maybe like this. Whoops. Wrong. I, I just totally failed on that one. Hang on a sec. Okay, so I have it back up. Uh, maybe he could make him sound like the train in the movie. Yes, I did get that from the movie. I'll play it again. I tried adding it to the trains, but it w it wouldn't work. Here's another one that I think could be added to um, this train. I think it should be added to this train.
got it from the movie too. Um, and finally, for this one, of course, this is gonna blow your mind. Um, okay. Um, I'm just gonna quick get these. The sip, the triple seven. I have the feeling since there is really no horn for this beast, I was thinking that the horn could be something like this. Again, I got it from the movie. All these sounds came from the movie. Not the ones Riggs gave. The ones Riggs gave them, or, I don't know, I like them, but could use some a little bit of work, but... Eh, eh, I don't really get my life right now, I'm kidding, um, I'm weird, that's what I'm trying to say, I'm weird, but anyways, I just was building and stuff, I was watching a video where the guy is building something, like, uh, whoa, basically he's building like a UK thing, in Minecraft Xbox that uses like pistons to make the lights but this goes out to that guy who um I don't know I don't know maybe I could add something to the crossing maybe I could add something like this maybe have like um when it's going um hang on what, what can i do that i can do that cool maybe when it's running it'll um i don't know maybe when it's running yeah i have no idea maybe i could have a um Whoa, how did I do that? Oh, it's X. Minimap, duh. Uh, back to the drawing board. Actually, no. Um, maybe I could do something like... I just grabbed two repeaters. What the heck? I can make like a pulse shortener or something. Maybe like, um, uh, like this, where it's going like that. Where it's like, it shortens the pulse of something. Like this. Where I could have it, um, I don't know, I was thinking I could add something like that to this. Just break that. Let's see if it'll work like this. Nope, I guess not. Why do I keep opening that? The <laughs> the heck? Why do I have a pressure plate? What happens if a piston pushes it? I guess it can't. Huh. So basically, I guess that's it for this video. Just thought I would do it. I'm kind of in the like train crossing mood. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my other videos. I don't really know how to end this one. My endings just sound like crap.
I just thought I would put that out there. All my endings like seem to sound like crap. But I'm weird. But anyways, bye. I'm just gonna put there. Bye.